Hi everyone, I'm Sam from Rise, your one-stop shop for all your customer engagement activities. In this video, we're going to provide an overview of the Rise referral program. With this program, you can easily turn customers into your store ambassadors by rewarding them for spreading your brand's word. This will help you expand your customer base and assist customer acquisition efforts. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at how your customers will experience the referral program you set up with Rise. Once you have activated the widget on your website, customers who are logged in will be able to find their referral link in the widget's referral card. A referral link is automatically generated for each customer that has received a reward through your loyalty program. If they have never received a reward, they will be able to generate the referral link in the widget by clicking the Create Link button. They can then easily copy the link and send it to friends and family in any method they prefer. You can also add the referral link to all reward emails you send through Rise to further promote your referral program. Once the referred party receives the link and opens it, they will be directed to your website. Here they can add products to their cart and once they proceed to payment, the referral discount will be applied to their order. When the referred customer inserts their email address at checkout, our system recognizes whether this is a new customer who has never purchased at the store, or if it is in fact a returning customer. If the customer has already made a purchase at your store in the past, the discount code will be invalid, and the referral won't be carried out. If it is their first purchase, the discount code will apply to their order, and once the purchase has been completed, the reward will be sent to the referrer's email. All referral rewards will be accumulated on the referrer's loyalty card, as opposed to separate codes that can only be used on different purchases. This gives the referrer a bigger incentive to continue referring new customers so they can accumulate more rewards. Now let's move on to see how you can set up your referral program. In your Rise dashboard, go to your Loyalty and Rewards tab. Here, you can choose the pre-made referral program workflow. You can either activate it with the values we've inserted or choose to customize it. If you choose to customize the workflow, the first step is to determine the type of discount you would like the referred customer to receive. You have two choices, the fixed amount discount or you can choose the percentage discount that will give a percentage of their total order price. The next step is to determine the type of reward the referrer receives. In the pre-made workflow, we've added a reward for the referrer and to customize this, just click on the Issue Store Credit for Referrer box. In this action box, you can edit how the reward amount for the referrer will be determined. You can choose between a fixed amount reward or you can choose the percentage of reward, which means the referrer will receive a reward that is a percentage of the referred cart value. In the notification section, you can edit the message that will go out to the referrer once they receive the reward. You can also choose to give a reward to the referred customer if you'd like to encourage them to come back to your store and create another purchase. To do so, click Add Action and choose Issue Store Credit to the referred. This reward will be in addition to the discount they have already received for their first purchase and will be sent to them after the purchase was made. In this box, you can edit the reward just as you did in the previous action box. If you'd like, you can add conditions to the workflow that will enable a successful referral only if they are met. To add conditions, erase the actions that appear in the workflow and click Add Condition. Here you have a few conditions you can choose from, including order total price, which will enable a successful referral only if the referred's total order price, including shipping and tax, exceeds the value you choose. Order subtotal price, which is the order price excluding shipping and tax. This condition rewards based on the price of the items that were purchased, meaning it will not take into account the referral discount that was applied to the order. And product IDs. This allows you to select specific products in your store to trigger the referral reward when the referred purchases them. Please note that these conditions only impact the reward that is given after the purchase is made and do not affect the initial discount that is given to the referred. Once you have added a condition, you can then re-add the actions that you'd like to take place in the workflow by clicking Add Action here. You can then test the workflow by clicking the Test Workflow button. Activate the workflow here and save. To set up the referral card in your widget, 
go to the Loyalty Assets tab and in the widget section, click Customize. Here, you can click the referral card and that will open up customization options. Firstly, make sure to enable the card by clicking on this toggle. In the Items section, you can customize the widget to show exactly what your customers will earn from the referral program based on what you have set up in the workflow. Simply click an item and change the text. You can also change the icon that appears. You can customize the text your customers see depending on if they are signed in or not, and if they have generated the referral link or not. When you're finished, don't forget to save your work in the top right corner. In order to add the referral link to all reward emails, head to your email builder tab. Here, choose the store credit email and click the add section referral link. You can also add the link to your email's text by going to a text section, clicking see variables and copying the referral link variable. Then paste this variable in the text section. If you'd like to find more information about referrals created in your store, head to the Customers tab. Here, in each customer's page, you can see their referral link, how many successful referrals the customer has made, and the revenue created from these referrals. That was the overview of the RISE referral program and how you can set it all up on your end. If you have any questions, we'll be happy to talk to you through our chat or email. We also have an extensive knowledge base where you can find more information. Check out our other videos to learn more about RISE's features.